In Jesus' name, our Savior. Father, we have just read the message. May your Holy Spirit abide in us. In order to understand everything you want from us. In order to have faith without God, in order to receive. In Jesus' name. Do you see the instruction that we read morning? The teaching that shows the way by which we can see this is we call this message. We will be able to when we get some money, the Bible said that when he came from Bethany and was going, he was hungry. But in the distance, he found a fig tree in leaf. He went to see. After a dark tree, he didn't find anything on it. Because it was not the season for figs. And he said, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. After telling this, the disciple following him hearing. When they came to Jerusalem, he entered the temple he drive out all those who transform the temple of God as a business place he drive all of them out Money changers, pigeon sellers, all of them set their stages there. He didn't allow anybody to take anything through the temple. We didn't in that sense, he taught all those who are acting in that sense by saying, Is it not written? My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations. But you have made it a den of robbers. When I, at that time, I was not the flame. There were scribes, chief priests, we were not the flame. also scribes. Yes, sir, we were the law. They heard what Jesus was saying. And all who were playing from the man. But they got angry. But they were fearing him. Because his teaching was astonishing all the multitude. 
After doing all this in the temple, he get out from the city. This is the objective for which he reached out the fig tree. It is in order to show the power of faith to the disciples. For that reason, he went up to the tree, and when he missed some fruit, he cursed the tree. We should pay attention here. After believing, the fruit that the faithful one should produce, let us take heed in order not to miss producing those kind of fruits. Because the Lord is aiming at our fruit on each of us, if he found fruit, blessing should come. But if he miss fruit on us, curse will come down. The fruit, the fruit that the Lord needs from us, it is the scripture to exercise, to practice the commandment, the gospel of God, and after practicing them, in compliance with God, he will be blessing us all the time, and people will come to give testimony on our behalf. You will see John the Baptizer. When reading passages concerning him, this is the first word that he was pronouncing to people when they come nearer to him in order to repent. John the baptizer said, Race of viper, who taught you in order to flee from the wrath of the Lord? He called human being raised as brood of viper. Who taught you to flee from the wrath of the Lord? It is good. Under the condition you produce the fruit of faith. Produce the fruit of repentance. If not, the Lord will be troubled. Take sons from those stones. Produce the faith of repentance. Jesus gazed 
at the fig tree and didn't find any fruit and he cursed it, we human beings, do we receive Jesus or not? It is in that way that we will receive the recompense. Because the wrath of the Lord coming, the believer who hear the news and don't repent, and also the pagan who receive, who don't receive and reject the, this word, is in it. For what reason? We are reading the commandment of God. We are teaching our children about the commandment. But God himself has already written the first commandment in our heart. That's why if, if you do good, it please God and he's very happy. But if you do the contrary, if you offend him, he will lower himself and be sad, become sad. Started 
Jesus observed the fig tree and missed fruit and cursed the fig tree. So will be the case of every human being that rebel against his commandment. So the judgment is coming upon everybody. Yes, Jesus acted in that way, in a conscious way, knowing that we should understand, we should see clearly in order to understand the coming judgment coming from God. And the apostle also talked about this one by paraphrasing, by imitating what has been said, saying that uh, repent, give fruit of repentance. If you do this, you inherit the kingdom. If you don't do it, you can't inherit that kingdom. So, the good news bring about saving or salvation. He who believed in the good news of God and was walking, was being obedient to it, will get good reward. And once can notice it. John the Baptizer said to yield to produce the fruit of repentance in order to get in the kingdom. And the Bible testifies saying that it's good for us, we human beings, to, to produce good fruit in order to inherit the kingdom of God, this one coming. Dino. Now, there you was not to tell him to tell him what Jerusalem After acting and uh, preaching the gospel of God in the temple, and uh, he got out, going on his way. Let us not forget. Here. I said, 
because the faith of the one who is suffering is observing Jesus as he wanted and after pronouncing this word he receives sight freely yeah. by praying yeah. after finishing your prayers what the disease prevents you from doing started doing and you will notice that you are healed What the sickness block you from doing after receiving the prayer, after praying, put them into action, you will notice that freely you will be healed because you will start doing what you didn't do before, you can't do before. Because in your faith, you are not observing it as infirmity. Jesus told them that. Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, it will be so. He doesn't have double heart apart from the only word that he strength and commanded it should be so What we call prayer is that when you are in need, it is at that time that you address your word to the Lord. You talk with God and you ask. But apart from that, everything else we have is to give thank you, Lord. It is to praise Him. And if you have another thing different from this one, you can bow down and pray and ask. It's when you need something very important from you as problem difficult that you should address your prayer to God and ask solution for this one. But if God bless you and you are in your at your ease, you will be praising Him, you will be glorifying Him. Unless also you remember one of your friends who got a problem and you, you should set him in prayer before the Lord and one day you will notice that the latter will be firmed and come together with you and celebrate the name of the Lord together with you. Jesus, <laughs> 
vision for you. No, let us not do so. I'm 
If you said mountains, take up and cast into the sea without doubting, it will be so. If the person said something, having faith that it's on the way coming, it will be so accomplished for him. What lies here today after I believed? I endeavor, I persevere. When I notice that my parents are all idolaters, I pray on that on their behalf. And as things are today and nowadays, I notice that God answer our prayers and together we are here. During the prayers, the Lord gave me a revelation and we saw a vision. They, they came massively as palm trees together in order to crush us and the Lord break them. They rebelled really against us, saying that this thing shouldn't abide, shouldn't dwell here. Because Jesus is with us, it is so. It has been fulfilled. So then, when they were having the tending to do it, they have a form of going to move on, and then they were going to play by it. Oh, in that way, who are the friends? My friends in here. In other, in other nations, in other countries, in other cities, where people were rebelling against the gospel of God, in a few moments will go there and whistle trumpet. If God wants to have his seat somewhere in a given location, even people rebelled and started fighting against the people of God. Because darkness doesn't like light. Jesus is light. And has come to enlighten everyone in order to be set free from the devil and receive, in addition, the kingdom of God. If in your faith, through your faith, you get that victory, you are victorious, and it's yours, so will be up every time. No one can overcome you. Let's take the example of the uh, assembly of Agboku, the parish of Agboku. What happened there? It suffices to get faith. Oh, 
When the small boy, the Holy Spirit of God with, was with him at Agboku Parish, while waking up by night in order to go to the toilet, after doing this one, he started praying. It is right at that moment that a witch, a wizard, came to him through the wall and was observing him. But God opened the eyes of a small boy who was observed, also observing the scene. When he saw it, the, the wizard went back little by little by going through again the wall and get out. And the small boy came to report the fact. And we asked the wizard to come and we asked him questions and he was completely astonished in out of way. So if we are, we are faithful, hot in our faith, and we pray a lot, we should conquer, we should take victory over many things. Is our parents, our older parents, used to see such a thing before? No. It is in the darkness that people will come and snatch your soul and kill you. She wa he was on his bow praying and he saw the wizard, the witch, who came to him. What is what the Bible is and in verse 24, Jesus told them that. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayers, believe that you have received it. And it will be yours. Then you get not the government finish and die. 22, 23, 24. Let's keep them in our heart. What is my you think you are? And I will add another one. Yes, you go. Not me. Not me. Not me. Jesus told me and tell you to. Whenever you stand praying, we should notice that what we ask for has been fulfilled. Verse 25 said, It's a very great warning. And when, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against your neighbor, forgive him. Before you will be forgiven your trespasses. Let us not forget that verse. If you, if you don't free your heart, your Father in the heaven will keep you too. From verse 22 till 26, the Bible says in heaven, before being exhausted, by praying, remind, remember, remember that you have problem, you bear.
priest against your neighbor. Forgive him. Nothing will block your prayer. You get angry against someone, you have problem with someone, and you don't want to forgive him. By praying, it means clearly that you are blocking the way to your answer, to your prayers. Because you are not doing the will of the Father, and you in return, you want to be received, you want to be answered by God. The will of God to we who are children is to forgive. And after forgiving, we also, in return, will be forgiven by the Father. If, some, if the latter doesn't get ready to do something, you will see what the Holy Spirit used to do. Let us be obedient to these instructions, to this commandment, and practicing them in our workshop, in our place of work, in our different activities, in the market, everywhere we are, let us practice them. For that reason, I tell you, in order to receive good response to one's prayer, it is said here, if you are praying and you forgive, you will be received, you will be also accepted through your prayers. Will my prayers win this If we send a commandment, if you ask God to do something for us, let's have faith that it is already accomplished, it is already fulfilled. Let us not doubt at all. Why you been second on the girl? Where do you mean to let me go? Let me not let me go, let me go, let me go. Hmm. Me need to go here, let me go. Me need to go here, let me go. In verse 25, in verse 25, it is said, whenever you start praying, forgive. If you have anything against someone, forgive him. But the Father will receive you. But if you don't forgive your neighbor, your heavenly Father won't forgive you at all. God wants that we who are coming closer and closer to Him to be His imitators. The son looks like his father. It is, if it is God who created us, let us resemble to him. The son who doesn't look like father, who can, what can we call him? Your father, 
we should have the characteristic physical traits. I mean, his face, you will resemble to the behavior of your father. So let us look like God in complying with his rules. Father will be make them accomplished in that sense. 
only Brahmanical meaning. Let us not forget those scriptures. Let us apply them. Let us practice them from our house.
Marc chapitre 11, verset 12 à 26. You have to listen to this morning. It's taken from the gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 11, from verse 12 to 26. Scriptures, this is what I apply, this is what I exercise, and uh, I receive a lot of testimony. So today, this is what you also should do. If there is need be to see me forcibly, you will present yourself in advance asking for rendezvous and it, you know that it is set up like that and we will receive you. But I'm conscious that you don't need me. You need Jesus Christ. If you seek him, you will see him. Because the scriptures said that he who believes in him will be saved. If you don't believe in Jesus, if you don't trust Jesus, and you think that I have another power through which I can take command and something be fulfilled, you deceive yourself. When Simon the wizard asked the disciple to pray on his behalf, what did they tell him? They told him, you yourself go on your knees and pray. This is what they commanded. So, we have to focus only on Jesus Christ and we will ask. The only thing that I will be waiting for is your testimony. Testimony over your husband, your wife's life, your children's life. No need to have an intermediary by which you have to speak. No. You will face Jesus Christ, you yourself, and express your problems to him, and he will give you good answer. This is what the Lord needs from us. As you see the importance, as you see the weight of your problem, it is in that way that you get closer to his feet, pouring down your tears, wiping your tears with your hair, 
and the Lord on his throne will say, Oh, my son, be it so to you according to your faith. Don't think, don't think in your heart that there is something in your problem, in your life that Jesus is incapable to do. No, don't think as such. If it happened that if it happened that you find an evil hand, bad thing, evil things in your life persecuting you, you don't need to do something else just to face the Lord and speak to Him and He will save you from all those things. What you don't want to become and the devil is oppressing you to become, ask for Jesus, talk to Jesus and Jesus will save you from this problem. May Jesus bless each of us. Jesus abide with you in your house. Everything constitutes your problems. Even spirit that purchasing you, speak with Jesus. He is with you. He will respond. I don't know what to wear or not, what to wear or not, some way, I don't know. I don't know what to wear or not, 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 that they look like just music. I don't know what to wear or not, 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 I don't know what to wear or not. You have a evil woman or evil man and you see in your sleepness that an evil spirit have sex with you by night. You have to rebuke him. You have to take control. You have to send commandment and you send them away. You drive them away. It will be so. It will be fulfilled for you. In Jesus name, cast out. And get up rejoicing. You will never see it again. They will die and lose from your behind. Because they were there to destroy your life. But now, by the name of Jesus Christ, you kill them. They should vanish from you. Someone who show up in your sleep, covering his face, you will take control, say to men and say that Jesus, and cover him. You will see him clearly, and Jesus will save you from him, this evil thing. May each of us. And give up all our commandment, saying that may this one be to be to be side and this side, it will be accomplished. Amen. Let us pray.